Ferris Theater is down by Prestonwood. No, but I can find it. I can find it. I can find it. I can find it. I don't think we'll leave it with it. Like Creedmoor. What's that out there? Yeah, yeah I, know, I, know the, I, I know the area. I know the area. So I, can I know the area. Where's that no second time? That's funny. Nothing stays still very long at the Interfaith Food Shuttle. If it has legs or wheels, it's moving. If it has a job description or roots, it's growing. If growth brings uncertainty to some of the routes of movement, well, that's all part of the Food Shuttle adventure. Breaking new ground, finding better ways to serve more people. That's the Interfaith Food Shuttle. The core of this movement is redistribution of food. That started in 1989 with one station wagon redistributing 624 pounds from one source to one agency. Twenty years later, 11 refrigerated trucks picked up 5,700,000 pounds of food from 233 grocery stores, restaurants, and farmers markets. They redistributed that rescued food to 212 shelters, soup kitchens, food pantries, and mobile markets. Since the food shuttle started, 60 million tons of nutritious food that would have gone to the landfill fed needy people instead. That's a lot of food, and the food shuttle manages it carefully. Perishable food is immediately redistributed or prepared and flash frozen in the food shuttle kitchen. All aspects of sanitation are a top priority. Among the soup kitchens receiving this rescued high quality food is the shepherd's table. And among the food pantries is Catholic parish outreach. I don't think there's a big enough award or thank you that would ever say what that food shuttle and what Joe Bullard has done for this community. We serve approximately 5,000 people a month and because of the Interfaith Food Shuttle, we're able to do that. They rescue the food, bring it to us, help us keep stocked so we can serve people even in inclement weather. And we are the largest food pantry in the Triangle and all the way to the east coast of North Carolina. About 50% of our food comes from the Interfaith Food Shuttle. They are a wonderful partner uh, in our ministry to uh, helping alleviate hunger. Uh, in the community. In addition to supplying agencies across seven different counties, the food shuttle involves itself in direct outreach through mobile food markets in targeted communities, such as the one at West Durham Baptist Church. A second kind of direct outreach is the bagging and delivery of food for senior citizens. And yet a third outreach involves children on the free and reduced cost lunch program. Through its Backpack Buddies and Children's program, the Food Shuttle helps fill in the nutritional gap for these children during the weekends and evening tutoring programs, and even during the summer while the children are involved in partnering day camps. The impact of all this food recovery by the Interfaith Food Shuttle lifts the entire community. The Interfaith Food Shuttle has been a great resource for the City of Raleigh for 20 years. Last year it distributed over 3 million pounds of food to Raleigh residents. The shuttle, along with other nonprofits, makes Raleigh and Wake County a great place to live. The most recent program growth at the food shuttle involves the acquisition of a farm and development of community gardens in Raleigh. The farm provides fresh food for food shuttle operations and, more importantly, hands-on educational opportunities about organic gardening the planting, the growing, and the harvesting. The community gardens bring these same opportunities close to where people live who don't have ready access to fresh food. So we've had a few kids that have come to the garden and have never tasted broccoli or have never tasted collards and they're growing it from seed and they actually get to harvest it. And in the garden we ask them to try things to taste them and when they do they might love it. Um, and if they don't, that's okay, um, but they're taking it home to their families and they're sharing in that experience with them. After growing and harvesting, the next step is, of course, cooking. Through its Operation Frontline, the Food Shuttle partners with Share Our Strength and NC State University 
to offer nutrition and cooking classes to low-income teens, children, and adults. Food recovery, food growth, and food in communities are a big part of the food shuttle story, but not nearly all of it. The other part involves people recovery, people growth, and people in community. One person told me that he had been volunteering at the food shuttle for over a month before he discovered that some of the most capable people there had either served time or were doing community service to avoid serving time. Indeed, the food shuttle nurtures individuals in all kinds of dark places to find the light of day, to grow, and often to flourish. How I got into the food shuttle was uh, I got into some trouble back in 2001. I had to go away and do seven years in federal prison. And I was released uh, March of 07 in a halfway house up here in Raleigh. All from Interfaith, they were looking for a driver, so I had got my driver's license prior to getting to the uh, uh, halfway house. And uh, I came over here and uh, they hired me, they gave me a second chance. And I've been with them since uh, 07, March. An excellent example of people recovery at the Interfaith Food Shuttle is the Culinary Job Training Program. Professional chefs, a job placement counselor, and a case manager teach the rigorous 11-week program to help men and women with severe life challenges gain self-sufficiency and meaningful employment in a food service position. Since the class is taught in the Food Shuttle kitchen, the shuttle is thereby able to offer cooked food to agencies that cannot use raw products. The final exam of each class is the preparation and serving of the graduation meal, an event that brings out food shuttle supporters throughout the community. This is an alternative to incarceration. Many folks don't have the opportunity to have someone help them with a skill, care about them, and offer other life skills classes such as they do here. They offer some anger management training. They have a, a, a sociologist on board that can help them with their interpersonal skills and relationships. It's all about keeping them focused, keeping them on track. And at the end of the culinary skills 11-week course, it's very intense. They can help them find a job. Everybody the food shuttle touches gets caught up in the vibrant spirit of this caring community to the point where it is not always clear who is giving the care and who is receiving it. At the center of this vibrancy are the numerous volunteers who help with the culinary school, work with community gardeners, package food, or drive trucks and transport rescued food. I did the Navy during World War II uh, aboard aircraft carrier. Then I worked with Equifax in Raleigh for 32 and a half years. And after my retirement from Equifax, I worked with Red Cross part-time for 15 years, and I've been with the food shuttle since November 1992. You have plenty of exercise, and that's good for you. Uh, and at, at the same time, I'm uh, meeting a lot of people with interesting backgrounds, occupations, hobbies, and so forth. That's always interesting to me. And then, of course, I know I'm helping a lot of people uh, who need the food. The leadership team drives much of the growth and change at the Interfaith Food Shuttle as they discuss new ways to rescue food, new ways to help people fight off hunger, new ways to build God's community on earth, whatever path to that community one may have chosen. The visionary for all this is the organization's co-founder and executive director, Jill Bullard. Do I know exactly what it, where it's going? No, I've never known exactly where it's going. I've always known that we're only on the path to make sure this community grows healthy in every way. Um, is that too large a vision? I don't think so. I know we're only one part of it. There are other parts that all come together. And, and that's been the vision from the beginning for me. What's your name? Patricia Wallace. Do you mind if I take your picture? Yes, sir, I don't. 